What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and we are still running the rover giveaway. If you this hasn't if I haven't reached 10,000 subscribers, all you have to do is go to www.whatsupinthesky.com, register for the website and you're already signed up. Well, I'm going to basically take a user list and then pull it out of a hat. And uh, thank you to Tracy. Um, he sent this over to me. Um, Tracy K. I don't know if he wants his full name given or not, but let's see here. Let's get my, for some reason, my Photoshop's not working. What's going on here, Photoshop? Ah, there we are. Okay. He sent this over, and he's, this is basically what he thought he's on here, and I'm going to try and clean it up a little. It looks like there was something sitting up on top of this rock that uh, was alive. And I went to this. This is one of the PIA uh, pictures that NASA puts out. And there's so much on this. Just even right here, this how this looks in general. Like something sitting on it. It does look like something sitting on a platform here. But look at the exactness of the uh, platform. A lot of people say, oh, that's shale. But then every time I look, it's... But it keeps it through here. And then it's in a whole different height. But it keeps it through here. Um, to me, if you've watched my videos, I think Mars was basically destroyed at some time. Um, and we're looking at ancient ruins everywhere we go. This is from the... I think it's from Spirit Rover. All right, let me go to my browser. This is a curiosity. This is Kimberly. Okay, actually, a lot of people have done this. I think a lot of people have actually done the uh, videos on this one. And notice that they only stuck this one out at 2 megabytes. Usually, these pictures that are PIA, they, they really get the good-looking ones on it. This is from the nav cam, too. Um, the nav cam takes okay shots. It's not the mass cam, but it still does take nice shots. So let's go back and take another look at this thing because I was looking through the whole thing, and it was fairly interesting I tell you like I said this whole spot that we've come up on is is neat uh, but let me know let Tracy know what you think like I said it definitely looks like there's an organism it's so hard to since you know black and white when they stick it out like that let me see if I, if I adjust the gamma just a tad if it pulls anything out there that's the more than just a tad but see how it's got like a little tail here or something that comes up it looks round it almost looks like see I think that might be part of another this is most top this looks like part of this rock up here, right under the tip of this here. But this piece right here does look like there's something up on there. Um, but either way, it could be a rock. And even if it, if it is just a rock, let's say, I don't know. I, I'm happy to see people see lizards. They see all sorts of stuff. And if you go to my channel, just look at animals on Mars, and you can see hundreds of things there, basically. But it definitely looks like something's on a perfectly squared platform. It's kind of hiding its stuff there. Let me just bump it up with the... Uh... Wow. Sorry about that, especially if it's nighttime. All right, let me pop that off. All right, so you know what? Actually, let me leave that on because look at we're gonna look at some of this other stuff over here that is just blows my mind when I look at these things like perfect oval openings with uh, you know tubing and stuff that look like it comes around. Let me actually do that one more time. Adjustment, exposure, hit the gamma a little bit. Uh, and look at this right here. This is where I'm going from now. Okay, so there you go, Tracy. Now I'm going on to the rest of this picture again. Because I said I looked at this a couple times. I think I even had done a video on it. I just Every time I look at it, it just blows my mind even more. Um, let's see what we've got. The, uh, the triangle pieces and stuff start there. There's one little triangle piece that is on here. It's a beautiful piece of whatever the heck this stuff is. Um, come on, where are you? While I'm going through here and you guys are looking with me, let's check this stuff out. That's, I just go through like I usually do. Look at this here, just how it kind of rounds off. Just interesting how they look like little entrances. It comes out on a cliff. Um, this is really weird here too. Look at the arch, little arch here. And this right here, all this, these arch, the more rounded off and it's got these little things here. Man, have the trolls come hitting my channels. I tell you what, guys, it is getting funnier and funnier. I guess we must be doing something right on these things when these people come in. And I keep saying it in each of these videos, but each time I make another video, it's worse and worse. That is pretty cool there, this little piece up. And it comes up in this little archway. It almost looks like it's uh, see-through or translucent like a liquid. But it's one thing about black and white you really can't tell. Um, they don't have a 3D version of this. I'd love to start making some 3D videos with some glasses. Now this over here is another thing I thought this looked almost like a skeleton of some sort. And bear with me here while I explain this. This like this up here would be sort of a uh, like the, the just the head area, shoulder head. There's a neck. 
and see how there's like almost like a blur there on purpose but either way it's it's rounded off it almost looks like it's just set there and died who knows you know I might be wrong about that but I just caught that off or it looks like maybe the structure of something but see how the pieces fit perfectly and then they come together in certain places and come up you know like if you look at a rib cage it does that you know the human rib cage and up here we're gonna find some more of the there's the triangle pieces and look at this stuff here I mean this stuff looks like it's stuff that's just worked right over let me hit let me adjust it back to how it came um, and we, I like see, I like looking at it the other way. All right, step forward. It's up here and up here. It looks like it's got little divots in it, like it's something that liquid could pour through. I don't know, people. I, the more and more I look at this stuff, I, I don't know what else we've got to find except for maybe like a little picture of whatever we think a Martian was supposed to look like, you know, with a little sign that says, hey, guys from America or hey, guys from the world, you know. I got a great question the other day on here. You know, I should start answering some of these questions in my videos that some of you guys give. It's like, why, uh, if there are little marshes on there, how come they're not disabling the rover? I was like, well, I guess it all depends on how smart they were or how close they got to it or what type of, uh, you know, actually stuff is on there. I know the laser's on it, so if they watch it laser a couple of rocks, but I don't think that we're looking, I personally have not been convinced that we're looking at current life you know like intelligent life like I, I am convinced there's still probably little things crawling around on mars for sure and as i just kind of go through this picture I, i'm kind of probably making everybody sick now i'm just gonna leave it here for a second um actually let me pull back a little bit but i don't know what do you guys think about that do you think it's still living up there and so i love to hear people debate it or see what's going on come over to the website if you really want to start debating some stuff because you can sign up for an account Maybe win that rover, and we can start talking off of Facebook some more. Like right lately, actually, people have been using my forum, so I'm getting excited because everything just—it's so hard to talk about stuff here on Facebook because by the time I stick out a new video, it's like we're talking on that one again. So it's weird. You, you don't really get a good conversation unless you go back and watch the same video over and over and over and over again. And who, uh, you know, who ends up wanting to do that? And a lot of people are sending me stuff for my videos, too. So I need to start doing some video follow-ups because you guys send me screenshots for my videos. And they're like, look at this thing here. And I totally just blew by it. Like, And I go back to this thing down here again. And this, to me, just looks like something that's just designed. It's got little pieces that come out. Once again, this is translucent like that other piece up here. Um, like a flow of some sort. Here. Look at the circle. Look at this, like the uh, one, two, three. It's pretty cool to me. I don't know why. It looks kind of machiney, like a machine piece or something like that. And as we keep moving over, up oh, this piece here too just looks like something buried or blurred. Looks like it's got the blur tool too. See it right here? Got the blur tool. Who knows? It's interesting how much is right here in this area but there's you know not too much up here but you do see some look like tracks look at that they go up and around and what is this stuff up here i love to see it's so hard to look at these black and white images and actually say okay this is that especially when you don't have the 3d modeling version of it here's some interesting stuff and especially when you know everything's you know it focuses on some stuff in the front and it can only do so much you know the cameras can i do give that to nasa but just the quality of this one to send it out as a two megabyte when i know they probably had much better quality there we go let me hit the pause button all right i had to hit pause there for a second and but i don't know guys i see written all over it looks like something like puma punku when or you know just slashed everywhere look at this up here really shiny looks like almost like a piece of sheet metal that's just thrown up there I mean you think if that was shale or rock after many many years and all the wind and stuff that's on Mars that this would have cracked it sometime and just fallen off but no it's just sitting up there easily now if it was a piece of metal or something with very shiny I could see it doing just this so this here two cool guys even like I said even if that's not an animal or something sitting there this is just a great area in general and I said thank you Tracy K for sending this over man he's got some good stuff and uh, I don't know if he's 
actually got something going on or anything out there. I know a lot of you guys who send me stuff have actual, you know, websites and stuff you send. I try and put everything out on my website for it. Um, but that's say, if you just look at this stuff and uh, let me know what you guys think. This to me, I see, I see intelligent design all over this, especially this Kimberly Waypoint piece. All right, guys, much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Go win that rover. All I do is go to the website, sign up. www.whatsupinthesky.com. Hit register, sign up. Bam. Much love, guys.